The Heilung song Marduk invokes the 50 names of the Mesopotamian sky god of the same name. The names were featured in the Enuma Elish, an ancient Akkadian text that describes the creation of the universe. The text can also be seen as a propaganda piece, establishing the master magician Marduk as the preeminent deity in the Babylonian pantheon. He seeks fame by performing powerful deeds, notably by killing his rival, the primordial sea goddess Tiamat. Tiamat was said to have poison instead of blood and represented the notion of chaos camp, the struggle against chaos. And so Marduk can be seen as establishing the primacy of order over chaos by creative destruction. Demonstrating this, he was then said to have created the heavens and the earth out of Tiamat's corpse, although the concept of multiple names was an older one and acted as a kind of genealogy for gods. Marduk is associated with the familiar mythical trope of wielding a divine weapon. In his case, it is called Imhulu. Similar examples from Western paganism could be Zeus's lightning bolts or Thor's hammer Mjolnir. His symbolic animal and servant, whom Marduk once vanquished, is the dragon Mushushu. Marduk, whose name was likely originally pronounced as Marotuk, was associated with the planet Jupiter, itself a form of the ancient Proto-Indo-European term for sky father, Deus Pater. The Heilung Song itself is an atmospheric and brooding meditation with a bell rung each time one of the names of the god is chanted and can't really be considered a song in a sense, but more an incantation. You can find out the history behind the Heilung Song Tenet in a previous video I've done, link in the description. For now, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and thank you for watching.